All right, so this is the situation we're looking at here. <laughs> Just wanted to be real with you before I started filming. This is all of the stuff I bought yesterday. There's some listed inventory that's overflowing. Some other things I bought this weekend. It's a mess. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea and I am a full-time reseller. I like to buy things at a low price, mostly from the Goodwill outlets and then flip it for profit online. So today I'm gonna show you what I got from the Goodwill outlet on this last trip. And oh my goodness, I got a lot. This is probably my biggest haul ever. I'm pretty sure it is because I spent $75 on all of this and I got like 45 pounds. Normally my hauls cost me around 30, like 20 to $35. This was like double that and it's so much stuff. So I'm excited to show you what I got. So let's hop right into the haul. Okay, if you've been following my channel for a while, you may have noticed I did get a haircut. I got six inches off. It was just getting really heavy and hot and it's summer here. So I was like, it is time to chop the hair and it just, it feels so much lighter and um, yeah, I am very excited to have a trim and it'll grow back and I'll let it grow back, you know, probably another six inches and get my yearly haircut again next year. That's just how I roll. So it always grows back <laughs> for those of you who prefer it long. So I have two big Ikea bags. I have a TJ Maxx bag full and then I have some books over here. So a ton of stuff. So let's just do this pretty rapid fire. I'm going to show you the items and tell you how much I think I can sell them for. Okay. So first off is this brand. I don't know this brand personally. It's Lilu, Lilu, L-I-L-U. Um, but the reason I picked this up is because it is 30% Angora rabbit hair, 10% wool, and then 60% nylon. But I just thought this was kind of like a Y2K fit where it is like um, kind of cropped and like really fitted and then those super long sleeves. So I don't know if that's coming back, but I did like the fabric content that's so why I decided to give it a shot. These are just Fashion Nova pants, which isn't really a great brand, but the style of them I thought was really good. They're button fly and they are flare and they look to have a very long inseam so i decided to pick them up they'll probably only sell for like 15 20 bucks but just being a good style i feel like they'll do okay this is just a vintage top that i thought had a really fun print to it there's actually no size tag on it i'm probably gonna model this so people have an idea of how it would fit but isn't that just a pretty pattern and it's notations this will look good with some of the trousers that i bought or even some denim, style it down a little bit. Um, just a scarf, it's polyester, it's not even silk, and it's by Worthington. But these make really great little hair scarves. This is Free People, size small, and it's just this knit, very oversized, like flowy cardigan duster thing. Um, I'm gonna guess I can get around $30 for it, but I haven't looked it up yet. It might be worth more. That's how it is with free people. You just really never know till you look it up. A few more things. This is a tie of some sort. If you know what to call this type of tie, let me know. But I think it's one that you just kind of like tie and let hang in a certain way. I don't think it's a bow tie because bow ties have more of like a, like a curve to them, but it has an adjustable strap right there. And then that is definitely a vintage tag. So if you know the name of this type of tie, comment down below. Maybe it is a bow tie. So I do see it curves out a little bit. Let me know what you think. I need to do some research on that. Um, this dress I thought was really fun. The brand on this is David Benjamin Collection. Um, I feel like I've sold this brand before. I feel like he always has really colorful clothes. I think it's from the 80s. Has shoulder pads, but it's just like this nautical style dress. And it almost has like really wide at the shoulders. And then it like tapers at the bottom. So it like gets more body con, but like boss lady on top with like these big linebacker shoulders and it's long sleeve so that'll be a fun one to model um maybe 25 30 dollars on that look at all this stuff <laughs> so much stuff <laughs> okay so this is my first time finding this brand and i think it's just a fast fashion brand but i was kind of excited to try a new brand it's just pretty little thing and these are a size small. I think I can get around 15 to $20 for it. But what I think I'm going to do is I found actually two pair of these in the exact same size and exact same style, just different colors. I think I'm going to try to sell them in a group and price it at like 30 and take offers. 
Um, this is a Calvin Klein dress. Now this dress originally came with a liner and the liner is missing. So that will devalue it a little bit, but I think I'll still price it around $30 and see what happens. Cause hopefully people will have their own slip they could wear underneath this. Um, this is a size six, I believe. Just, oh, size eight, really pretty little dress with the drawstring waist and pockets. Okay. This vintage dress was just too good to pass up, even though it does need repairs. It is vintage. The brand is Youth Guild, which I have never heard of that brand before, but it has a union label right underneath it. Um, my guess based on style is 60s or 70s. Um, it's just really fun. It has like this button collar. There's like little like bead like buttons in the back, button cuffs, and it's like a skater fit and flare style dress. Like how fun is that? And I just realized there is a hole in the back. Is it a hole? No, it's just some loose threads, not a hole, but this is the part that needs repair. There's just like a popped seam here right under the bust, but it looks like it'll be easy to fix. Um, just a little bit of hand sewing. So this will probably sit in my death pile for a while, but I mean this color, I couldn't leave it behind. I am a sucker for bright, bold colors and honestly vintage that has something going for it, like a bright color, lots of ruffles, stuff like that tends to help it sell better. So I decided to take the risk. Um, I got this hat for me. It's just Vans. If I don't like the way it fits on my head, I could probably get 10 to 15 bucks for it, but I'm going to wash it and see what happens. And hopefully it comes out. Okay. I don't have a dishwasher. So I'm going to try to throw it in my washing machine. Hopefully it doesn't get destroyed. It's just for me. So, oh, well, if it does, um, this one, I'll probably just steam because honestly it's in really good condition and it looks nice and clean. There's no like residue on it. Okay. There is right there. Maybe I'll just hand wash that little part off. Cause I'm afraid to put one that I'm going to sell in the washing machine. I don't know. Maybe I'll hand wash them both, but it's a master's hat from 2018. And there is the master's logo on the inside. I've heard these do well. I'm guessing I can get around 15 to $20 for it, but I haven't looked up comps. I've just heard other resellers talk about this brand. So yeah, hopefully that does well. Um, these are some Joe's jeans. They are the blondie ankle style. Now there is some like light discoloring on these, but I figured I would try to wash them at bins prices. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Do you see like the, it looks like a surface spot. And then these have a raw step hem on it. Whenever you see the hem where it's like cut, um, not evenly, that's called a step hem. And then raw is just the frayed look. So I don't know, maybe $25, $30 on those, depending on the style, um, like basic Joe's jeans. That's normally what I get for them, but these might be a good style. So we'll have to see. Um, this is a fanny pack and I don't know if I'm going to keep this for me for when I go to the bins. Cause I only have one right now and it's like tie dye really loud. This one would be nice for if I want to put my phone in it. Cause it's a little bit bigger. So I'm either going to keep this or sell it for like five, 10 bucks, but that's what it looks like. It is new with tags. It was sold for $8.99 at Marshall's. So I got it for like pennies on the dollar. So yeah, I, I might keep this. We'll see how it looks, but it's just nice to have fanny packs at the bins. I don't want to leave my purse um, in my cart because people can go rummage through your carts. I mean, they don't, but they could. And it just scares me leaving my valuables there. So I'd like to have my like credit card and my keys on my person. So I normally wear a little fanny pack and this one is just a little bigger. So that'll be nice. Um, I got this for me, but if they don't fit, I will sell them. Or if they look silly, I'll sell them. The brand is the Relay Company. They're vintage, probably from the 90s. And they it's a skirt, <laughs> And they just have like the little shorts underneath and then the button detailing. I just thought the plaid was really cute. And this could look really cute with like a white top. But if I don't like the way it looks, I will sell them. We'll see. We'll see. This is Kendall and Kylie. Um... I think one, I think this is a lower end brand. I think Kendall plus Kylie is the higher end brand, but don't quote me on that. There are different levels to the Kendall and Kylie brand. Anyway, this is a size small and it has a tie friend. Hold on, let me tie it just so you can see it. But um, it's got like this ruching in it, almost like shirring or like, but it's in the fabric, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, just a little crop top would look cute over top of like, a tank top. Um, this is, that's probably like a $15 sale. Honestly, this is, um, Joss, a bank reserve, hundred percent linen top. It's men's. It's an extra, extra large. This is honestly out of my comfort zone. It's a little bit of a risk, but it's hundred percent linen. It's a good size. I think it's a good color. There were no flaws. So I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, 
uh, maybe 25 bucks. Okay, these are just blue and gray, size medium, like just little tapered leg stretch waist pants. They look really comfortable, but it looks like you might be able to pull these off wearing to the office or wearing them at home to lounge in. So, but that's blue and gray. It's like a diffusion line of loft, but it seems to go for a little bit more because they're like really comfortable and soft clothes. This is really comfortable and soft. So I'm guessing like 25, 30 on that. This is just an H&M dress. I'll probably only be able to get 15 to 20 on it, but it's a good size. It's a size 14 and it's got like this um, Swiss dot detailing on it with like metallic fibers and a ruffle sleeve and like a little bit of a poet sleeve there at the end. And I just thought it was really cute, like fit and flare style. And it has the slip lining underneath it, which is good to have. Um, this scarf is just beautiful. Look at how gorgeous this is. It totally makes me think of Johnny was, but it's not, unfortunately. Um, there's no tags on it that I could find. So I'm guessing I can get like 25 for this. I'm going to price it around that range and just see what happens, but it's just stunning. And I loved that floral embroidery. Um, I got this for me. I've been wanting one of these hats and I saw it. Um, so I'm at like Marshall's or something and I'm just a cheapskate, so I didn't get it. And I found it at the bins and this is why I'm a cheapskate, but like, how cute is that for the beach? Like, come on. I just think it's nice because it folds up so you can throw it in your beach bag. And I also like that there's a hole in the top so you can do the little top knot and it doesn't get in your way. So yeah, cute little hat. I was really excited to find that um, as beach season is approaching. Okay, next I got this Pendleton skirt that is new with tags. So this, this is new old stock on eBay. People abbreviate that by NOS. That's what that means. So this is Country Sophisticates by Pendleton. There is the tag and it's just like a midi length skirt with pockets and I just thought it was cute and we'll see how it does. Um, this I couldn't pass up on because cats and I have sold um, just like loose cross stitch things like this before. So I'm sure this one will sell. Oh, here's the good side. Sorry, I've been showing you the bad side. But yeah, I just thought it was cute. It is copywritten by, I don't even know, Jemini. I can look it up, but maybe 15, 20 bucks on that. I just had to save it because it's a cat. Another um, fanny pack. And this is how the kids are wearing them these days. So, you know, that could also be helpful for the bins. I'll just have to decide which fanny pack I want now. I've got options. Um, maybe 10 bucks on that if I were to sell it though. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, this is Athleta extra small shorts. Um, they have like this like cute mesh detailing and side zip pockets. I'm guessing I could list these around 25 and take offers just cause it does look like a newer style. Um, they do need a little bit of cleaning up though. There's like some discoloring on it, but I think it's just surface spots. Um, another guy at the bins gave me this and I thought it was really fun and tropical. It's like a cropped blazer and it's just like super fun for summer. This would look really cute with like some um, like safari style shorts or something. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe 25 bucks on that too is what I'd price it at. You Can you tell that's like my go-to price? 25, 32, 40. Like I'm like most of the things I buy, I want to be able to price in the 25 to 32 dollar range. If I price it at $32, that means I'm going to make a $25 profit after Poshmark fees. If I price it at 25, that means I'll make a $20 profit, which is like perfect for me. If I give a shipping discount, it's a little less, but still that's kind of the range I like to go for. But sometimes I come across things that will only sell for $10 to $15, but if I can flip them quick, I'm fine with that. Um, this is vintage Talbots and I think it had a good fabric content. Yeah, it's 5% wool and 95% cotton and it's a turtleneck and I just thought it was really pretty. Should I be picking up sweaters this close to summer? Probably not, but I find a lot of sweaters at my bins location in the summer because people aren't buying them. So it's, it's like a double-edged sword. It's a good time to pick them up, but then you have to store them or sell them for maybe a little less than you'd get in the winter. This is a hundred percent cashmere scarf. Just thought it was really pretty purple scarf and it's not any like special brand or anything. It is made in England, 100% cashmere. That's all it says. Okay, this, I'm skeptical about this. This is St. John, which is a Bolo brand, not St. John's Bay, but St. John, this is a brand you definitely wanna look out for, but this is a size 14, but it looks like a size four. <laughs> so I think this shrunk like a lot. So what I think I'm gonna do is, 
model it, share that I'm a size four and that it fits me and then say, I think it shrunk, but you know, I don't know. I don't know. What would you do? Is there a way to like stretch this back out to its former glory? Um, what would you do with this? It was just hard for me to leave St. John behind at the bins. Like even if I can get $25 for this, I would be thrilled. Um, I think in perfect condition, I could have gotten more like 50 for this, but the way that it is now, we'll see what we can get. I think it's wool and that's why it shrunk. Um, speaking of wool, this is the most darling wool jacket ever. I love picking up this brand. Isn't that just precious? It's like this um, tweed like fabric with multicolor speckles in it. And then these floral like rosettes in the front. But this is the brand Rothschild. And I have sold this brand jacket like several times. I've probably sold like three or four of them. Um, it's just a very classic brand. I don't think this particular one is vintage, but I have sold vintage styles. I don't know, I'll probably price this around $50 is what I'm guessing and take offers. This is a Bolo brand, guys. I really feel like it's a good brand to pick up. I've consistently sold it every time that I have. Okay, this is Stefano Basics, which is like a no-name brand, <laughs> but it's very 80s, 90s, and I just love this quirky embroidery of the clothesline. And then it has like this fun, like beading detailing on the point of the collar. Very like grandma core. It has shoulder pads. So I couldn't leave it behind. 100% cotton, super cute. Okay, this is a new to me brand, but comps looked very good. Um, it is M. Jemmy, made in Italy. I don't know if you can really see that, but I think I can sell these for around $60. They're just like some pointed toe flat. So they did a shoe rotation while I was there and this is all I got, <laughs> but you know, they look like can go for around $60. Like, honestly, if you're not in front of the right bin, when they start the rotation, you're just not going to get, you're not going to get good shoes. So I was happy that these were in front of me when they did the rotation. I grabbed them, not knowing what they were. They just looked quality. So yeah, I hope I can get like 50 or $60 for these. And it looks like a good desirable style. They're a size, I think, um, 36 and a half. So whatever that converts to, that's what they are. They look like maybe a six or seven in my opinion. So first off is this rain jacket that is in like pristine condition. It's Talbot's and it's this really fun like color block style. And I found comps on Poshmark um, like around $50. Some sold for more than 50, some for less. But that to me sounds like some solid comps. Okay, this I wanna try on because I really like it. But if it doesn't fit me, I will sell it. It's just a new day from Target, size small. And it's just like this super cute, like puff sleeve, like a knee length, maybe right above the knee dress. Very summery. I just, I wanted to try it on. We'll see if I like it or not. Um, but if I don't, I could either take it to a buy, sell, trade store and get three bucks really fast or sell it on Poshmark and make like $10. This brand is Codigan Court Sportswear. I've never heard of this brand. And honestly, the fabric isn't even that great either. It's just acrylic and nylon, but I, I just love this style. It's like slightly cropped and it has like this like textured embroidery of like grapes or something on the front. I just thought it was really cute. Very grandma chic cottage core in my opinion. Um, another lady at the bins gave me this. thought it was really pretty. The brand is De Rothschild and it's Raimi and Cotton. And I just thought like this print is so cute um so it does have some discolorations on it so i'm gonna try to wash them out but if they don't come out i'm just gonna sell it as is and just like disclose the flaws because it's just really adorable i'm guessing i can get like 30 bucks for that maybe same for the other one 25 30. another vintage sweater someone gave me everyone's getting rid of the vintage sweaters they don't want to store them but i'm a sucker and can't turn on a good vintage sweater it's delani never heard of this brand but it's like this chanel inspired like cut you see how it's like the the schoolgirl style um blazer i would probably tag this as like academia dark academia um i don't know preppy let me know what other tags you would include with this i don't want to say chanel in the description because that's like spamming the tags but it, it has that chanel look to it okay so this is a new to me brand it's rider wear here's what the tag looks like and it says rider wear like right along the seam and then this is what the logo looks like and this looks like it should go for like 25 to 35 dollars 
um, just based on quick comps. And I found a pair of pants, but I don't think they're the same color. Yeah, they're pink. So some Rider Wear pants and or leggings. And these do not have a size tag. Maybe I'll have to try them on to give an idea of like what size they are. But they've got like that really fitted style to them. Like that sculpting style. Yeah, I'm guessing they're like a small because this top is extra small. So maybe they're an extra small. But I guess we'll find out. Um, found my friend Lulu at the bins. And guess what? She still has her pull tag, which is amazing. There are some discolorations, but I think they'll wash out in the wash. So it looks like a, like a capri, maybe crop fit, which isn't quite as desirable. But I still think I can get like 30 bucks for these. We shall see. It's a really pretty color though. So hopefully they do okay. Um, next, I got this skirt from me. I was inspired by Laura Von V's video. She did like a ballet core video and she bought a skirt similar to this. This is a limited size small and doesn't that just look like something a ballerina would wear? So pretty and elegant and I like that this style is coming back. So yeah, I got that for me. But if it doesn't fit me right, I could probably get like 25 bucks for it because that is a trend right now. Okay, this is just stinking cute. It's Alfred Dunner, which is not a brand I pick up on the regular. It's usually a brand I avoid. But the style of this was just so cute. I don't think this is vintage. It's just a vintage inspired style. But like, look at that embroidery. And then that cable knit detailing with the little pearls, rib knit in the back. It's just really cute. And I feel like anyone going for that grandma core, cottage core style would look really cute in this. These are really fun. They're like loungewear pants, but you could also like dress them up, I feel like, and wear them out if you wanted to, because it has like this really cool, like, I think you call that like a brocade pattern, satiny style detailing. And it kind of like cinches a little bit at the waist. It has an elastic back. It has pockets <laughs> but the brand is just Yvonne Jones New York they look like maybe they're from the 90s that's my guess just based on the font and the styling 80s or 90s but we'll see this brand I've never heard of either but it is mohair so I picked it up the brand is Twiggy um, I wonder if it's like after the model if like that's her brand it's mohair acrylic nylon spandex but I picked it up because the mohair so I don't know if that brand will add any value to this but mohair I can normally get 30 to 40 dollars sometimes more for this is a good basic color so yeah I'm excited about this find very good fabric this is just lucky brand um I'll, I might send this into Plato's um but it's just like a little puff sleeve deal if I listed it myself, I'd probably list around 15 bucks. Okay, these are the other pretty little thing leggings. I showed you the other ones earlier. I'm going to list these in a bundle with that other pair. Okay, these are Land's End, um, the Fit to Straight Leg, size 18 women. So I picked these up because they're plus size. They also have that style name. I was able to look up comps. These are selling from like 15 to $25 and I was happy with that for Ben's prices. Okay, this is adorable. This is a moth cardigan and look at how cute that is. It's like sweater in the front and like this really pretty metallic-y striped fabric in the back and it is so soft. I bet the fabric content is good. Cotton, rayon, metallic, polyester. So actually, no, it doesn't really have any really exciting fabric content, but it's really cute. So that should help it sell. I'm guessing I could list this in the $30 to $40 range and just see what happens. Okay, I picked up a jacket. I know, I'm crazy. It's like almost summer here. But like how perfect is this jacket? It's Land's End and it's flawless. Like it looks like someone bought this and then left it in their closet and never ever wore it. And it's just a, this really cute pea coat. I think that's the style that this is called. Let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> But yeah, just an adorable jacket and it's a wool blend. And yeah, 50% wool, 50% polyester. And it's just perfect. Um, I think this is women's. That's my guess. Just, I feel like there is a little bit of a curve there. Yeah, so it's women's. But yeah, I think I can get like 35 to $50 for it. It's not gonna be like a huge big seller for such a pretty piece, but um, I I'm willing to wait on that. We'll see how it does. Okay, this is Cozy Corner. 
<laughs> it's a size small and it's just one of those crazy little house dresses that I'm able to sell consistently for 15 to 20 dollars don't ask me why guys but these sell like hotcakes and I mean they stay listed for like a week and then they're gone I don't get it like uh, most styles so that one is just a great for summer like easy breezy little house dress this is guy yam and it's a size medium it's an athletic wear brand and these have just like some cool twisting detail here probably list those around 20 bucks okay these little gloves i found sold comps for 15 dollars on ebay for these cute little kids gloves all right this brand i've never heard of margu i don't even know something but it is 100 percent silk and that's why i grabbed it i thought the print was very like y2k but perfect for summer and the fact that it's silk was just the icing on the cake i'll probably price it on 35 dollars okay this looks vintage to me um and i think i did google lens on this and it, it seemed to be vintage but it's in like perfect condition which kind of makes me question it because it has like no wear i feel like it was made yesterday but it's not single stitch either it is double stitch so maybe it's not vintage but um it's just a cool print you know for that like academia look it says university university roma <laughs> And here's the tag. Maybe it's probably not vintage now that I'm looking closer at it, but maybe a $15 shirt there. Um, some M&M store, officially licensed M&M product pants. So if you need some pajama pants that have M&Ms all over them, I got you. They're a size large and they're 100% cotton. They just looked brand new and I couldn't leave them behind. They're probably only gonna sell for 15 bucks. Okay, this should sell for 35 to $45. It is a Taylor Swift concert tee and it's, I think it was from like 2010. If I remember correctly, according to my research, Taylor Swift Speak Now concert and it has a print on the back too. The size tag has been removed, but I'm guessing it's like a smaller medium. Probably a unisex small, but I'm gonna try it on or I'll like, you know, provide measurements so people can kind of guess what size it is. I got this shirt for me, but if it doesn't fit, I'll sell it. It's New York and Company, new with tags. And it's just this really cute little tie front blouse. And I just thought like, how cute would this be with my new little ballet core skirt? Um, it's a whole look right here. So if I were to sell that top, I could probably list it for like $15 and take offers. And then I grabbed these for Once Upon a Child. They're Carter's six months dino pants. Okay. That is all the clothes. Now let me show you the books I got. I got some for personal use and some to sell. So let me just get oh, out of the way the ones I got for personal use and then I'll show you what I got to sell. Okay. I love pretty old books <laughs> and you know, I love collecting the classics. So I already have little men, but the one I have is a paperback. So I'm going to replace it with this hardcover edition. That's just really pretty. So, yep, I got that. Um, Silas Marner. How many of you guys had to read this in high school? I had to read it. It's a really good one. It's a good classic. Anyway, Silas Marner. Next is Best Known Works by Hawthorne. And this is my favorite. Like, look how pretty that is. And this one has the Scarlet Letter in it, which is another one I read in high school. I'm sure you guys did too. Does everyone read that in high school? Maybe it's just me. Um, the House of the Seven Gables is in here, which I have not read. I think I read it excerpt of it at some point and then twice told tales which i feel like are short stories yes short stories by nathaniel hawthorne so i'm excited to read some of these put it on my shelf have pretty books that i also you know have read want to collect later for kids or read again and just enjoy again so just really pretty books and adding those to my personal collection and then i got these to resell so i got this book set by lois lowry which she wrote the giver series how many of you guys have read that such a great book series for young adults and adults too honestly i read it and i loved it if you've read the giver series comment down below like all the books it's so good you've probably seen the movie the books are better um this is by this is anastasia krumpnik and it's a four book set and this is selling on ebay for like 15 bucks free shipping so like ten dollars profit there these are also selling for around that same price, $15 um, free shipping. So like 10 bucks profit. It's a make your mark planner by leaders in heels. I don't know, like this is like a, a startup brand, but it's supposed to 
empower, encourage, and grow the leader inside of you that you want to be. And it has 160 pages with unique designs on premium paper, purposely structured to help you accomplish your daily tasks and priorities. Maybe I need to keep one of these. <laughs> but there's two of them and they look like they can go for $15 each. So yeah, they're just really cute. Like I love the graphic design on them and the coloring. Okay, this book is a Dr. Seuss book. I saw one sold on eBay for $25 and then I searched by title and there were none others listed. Is this one of the books that they have recently banned? I don't know. I just thought it was weird that there was only one sold and none listed. So maybe it's just an older book. Um, anyway, let me know if this is one they discontinued or not. But yeah, so if I can get $25 for this, that'd be great. But that just seems a little sketchy to me. I need to try to peel this off though. And the back does have like some wrinkling in it. So it's not perfect. We'll see what I can get for it. But if not, I'll just hang on to it. So yeah, that is my Goodwill Outlet haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I got for like $75. I, I feel like just selling four items in here. I will be in the profit already. Um, so yeah, really great haul. Lots of bread and butter. A few good things sprinkled throughout there, but just it's exciting to be able to source this much at once. Normally I don't find this much in one day, but I was there from noon till five o'clock when I got home, I was starving, but I was also like on this adrenaline high because I found so much good stuff. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Maybe share with a friend if you want to, no pressure there. I'm just trying to grow my audience and just seem to be hitting a wall with my subscriber count. So anyway, I hope you have a great day. See you next time. Bye.